Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with an exciting video. We're gonna dive in with the OnePlus Nord N10 5G and take a look at the camera and the video and show off some of the great capabilities that this phone has. Kind of priced in a budget tier arena, but offers 5G, a 64 megapixel camera, and is capable of shooting 4K video. So let's go ahead and dive in take a look at it and see what it has to offer. But before we get there, I do wanna say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, I appreciate you being here. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Now, let's take a look at the Nord N10 5G video and camera. So first things first on our trip today is it's a delicious Tex-Mex food because what vlog and what Saturday morning wouldn't be complete without some Tex-Mex. So let's go inside and grab some food. You can see here with the video camera in less than ideal lighting, lower light situations, it does have a little bit of a softening effect on the video, but it still makes this queso look really, really good. And I wanted to demonstrate the slow motion in low light settings and it works pretty well. And I'm going to tell you the queso was delicious, <laughs> but inside the restaurant bar setting here, you can see there is a little bit of a shifting issue with the picture. Whenever you stop and you, you know, start changing directions again, maybe that can be fixed with software. I'm not sure, but the food turned out absolutely fantastic. And of course, what vlog video of mine would not be complete without some Tex-Mex. So back in the car now off on another adventure, quite a couple of things you'll see in this video. First was you know, lunch. Now, spending some time with my lovely wife, and we're going to my most favorite of all places, you guessed it, Best Buy. So I wanted to go to Best Buy. They've got really good lighting inside of here. They've got a combination of natural lighting where it comes in through the ceiling, plus some good lighting, which makes it a really ideal location to shoot some footage. Okay, so this right here is pretty ridiculous. Like, if only they had something like this <laughs> whenever I was a kid. The Nerf things are getting absolutely ridiculous these days. They even have Fortnite. Fortnite bazooka. <laughs> well, I'm out wandering around over the appliance aisle today, and this is with the 1080p at 60 frames per second on the front facing camera. But you can see here it handles the video a lot better indoors with some really good lighting. And Best Buy always has good lighting. Like you look around up at the ceiling, and they've got combinations of natural light where it comes in through the ceiling and then the, the normal lights as well. So this works pretty good and I'm pretty impressed with how this looks. I think it's pretty decent. Next, I took some pictures of the best looking thing in Best Buy, which was my wife, but there's lots of really big TVs behind her. So it's kind of like a two for one special. This is with the wide angle and I think that it handles the lighting pretty well and time to say farewell to Best Buy and move on to bigger and better things. Let's go ahead and ditch suburbia and head to the big bright lights of the city of Las Vegas. Now this is inside the Venetian here. They've got a shop area. They've got all sorts of little fancy stuff in here, except for English Dan, he's not fancy. Uh, they have the gondola rides down here as well too, where the people will come by and they'll just like you're in Venice or Italy, whatever. So it's kind of neat. And there's lots of places to shop in here and buy stuff. But I wanted to test out some video in here because it's a little bit more of a low light setting, but still, it's it's still illuminated well. And you can hear what the microphone sounds like with all this stuff going on. And this is 1080p at 60 frames per second. So pretty neat. I've been to Las Vegas a few times before, but this is the first time I ever really spent much time walking around over at the Venetian. And these little gondola rides are really cool. They've got guys that do this apparently all day long and all night long. And I got this fountain shot with the slow motion. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with how well the slow motion works on the Nord. For a $299 budget phone, it's pretty impressive, especially when it comes to the cameras. Got a selfie picture there. This is inside the Venetian as well. Was able to take some nice shots. Now uh, the portrait mode, you do have to get within a certain distance for it to activate. So I had a little bit of trouble getting the portrait shot on this dragon, but there's one there. That one turned out good with a nice buttery bokeh effect in the, in the back. This one here, uh, the, the way the lighting was kind of makes the colors look a little dull or maybe waxy. That's on the macro shot. This is a wide angle outside, but like I said, I didn't expect the camera to perform this well. 
and this is also inside the Venetian. I took a whole lot of pictures there because there's so much stuff to look at. Look at the, the cathedral style setting there. It looks almost like the Sistine Chapel on the inside. So it's really impressive. And then this is inside Caesar's Palace. And this was also my first time to walk inside of here, but there's some really, really cool scenery inside of here as well, and I think the cameras handled it pretty darn well. Now, here's the Nord N10 5G. This is 4K at 30 frames per second. I'm out here in front of the MGM right now, and <laughs> and uh, look here we have it. was a prize from English Dan with English Dan Reviews. And you can see New York, New York across the street over there, which I didn't realize how big New York, New York is. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous when it comes to size. Uh, but if you've never made it out to Vegas before, a lot of these things are very, very, very large. You can see he's over there taking pictures still. But there's the uh, Excalibur in the background. You can barely make out the pyramid in the back from the Luxor and then Mandalay Bay down there. But yeah, I want to do some real life street filming, doing some vlog style stuff. Of course, you can't see me, but I want to test out the front. The camera on the back with the 4K at 30 frames per second so you can get an idea for what it looks like out in real life. And the side of this building is really cool too. And this is the last thing you'll see inside of this video before the ending, but it was a really cool trip in Las Vegas and I'm glad I was able to put this in the vlog and show you guys some of the cool things outdoors away from home and showcase the features. Not too shabby, huh? They've really done a good job, I think, outfitting the cameras on this phone. When I first got it, I never have been overly impressed with the cameras for the price point when it comes to the other OnePlus devices. They always have their moments of brilliance, but there's always something, you know, it kind of takes away from it that keeps it from being that top tier camera. So when I got this one, I was like, well, let's see what they have to offer. It's got the 5G, it's got a good price point, and it's got a 64 megapixel camera. So I thought this has got to be at least decent, right? So went out on location, lots of different places, shot different types of footage and lots of pictures so you can get a good feel for it. And hopefully this has been helpful for you. Hopefully this will let you know whether this is something, if you're interested in it, whether it will work for you, whether it's something to consider buying or not. And of course this was sent out as a review unit, not being paid, not compensated for this, not sponsored. OnePlus is not getting to see this before you are. So that's all I've got. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you like seeing some cool foreign locations and it was entertaining and you learned something. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.